but am I ready to pick that shit up and eat it? Yeah, dude. So my dunk tip of the day is how to a veggie drink. What the? F <laughs> Yeah, what a day. Great day so far. Feeling great. Slept great. Bombed on Wednesday, so now I'm free from humiliation. It, I can't watch it myself. Um, what else? Oh, before I forget, today's Dunk Life new series. At the end, I'm going to give you, at the very end of this video, I'm going to give you a Dunk Life tip of the day. That's a dunk metaphor that I like to use for life and works in my dunk training and my life training as I train to be a real human. All right enjoying today man it's a great day i'm excited for the weekend excited to make more videos i made a really fun tiktok video types of dunkers made it for the virality of it the virality of it i thought it was funny added my own stupid twist on it with the dumb names like breaking the f and rim randall up there theodore what was the other one the guy who dunks so technical he can't even he barely dunks he rattles everything in um what's his name donald ballstein so yeah having a lot of fun um, so yeah, welcome to this freaking show where we talk about dunks and lifes and we combine them and that's what it's about today. I want to talk about plant styles and lifestyles. Um, so how do you find your plant style? I get this question a lot. I get this question, um, very much. Um, but before the question, the notification bell, oh my God, today, oh my God, if you hit that bell today. Next time you're on the high seas, dude, you won't even, you won't, you'll have your sea legs and you won't get seasick. So if you live in Kansas where there's no, you're not even close to waves, dude, just know that if you ever vacation and you wander out, you don't even have to worry about taking, what is that shit called? <laughs> Iodine? <laughs> what is that stuff they put? You got your sea legs today. Congrats to you. And if you're already subscribed, oh my God, you get sea legs for a week. You don't have it permanently for your next vacation, but the next week or so you have sea legs. So congrats. So congrats. Um, so plant styles, I get this a lot. I'm right-handed, but I jump left, right. Is that backwards? I can't dunk like that. First of all, I can't stand when people say I'm left, right. Um, and I'm right-handed, so I can't dunk this dunk. I'm like, dude, first of all, you're making an excuse instantly, which is a life tip. Don't make excuses instantly. Second of all, some of the top dunkers in the entire world are left, right, right-handed. They, it's like, and Every there's every plant style, every handedness with a top dunker. There's Isaiah Rivera and Jordan Kilgannon, left right, right hand dominant. Yes, they're both good at their left, but Jesus, they're they started left right and they're killing it. That's all they jump. That I mean, and then there's right lefters, of course, like CJ. He, I mean, everybody, you could you could do any plant. Point is, you could do any plant. Which plant should you choose? If you watched my 30 to 40 video, you'll know that I switched because of dumb reasons. I was just trying to jump higher. My best advice is work on both. Work on both. Go with, with what's natural. Focus on that one if, if your other one's bad technique. But my goal is game dunks. My goal is to dunk off any little uh, space. Like the second I have any type of leeway, I want to take off. I want to take off quick, any angle, any situation, which means any plant. Because I don't know which way I'm coming from the rim. Because in a basketball game, I'm not going to have my one pathway that I'm, I've am i carved into my brain is perfect. And that's why I suck at game dunks. Now, lifestyle. Um, I hope that answers your question. Dunk on any plant. Practice them all. Practice one foot. Practice all of them. And to start practicing, just start from a, a one step and then build up your approach. For lifestyle, the thing is with that, the reason I wanted to bring that up is because it's really tough to know. It takes time to understand yourself of what you love to do. Um, but you got to keep trying things and you got to keep uh, understanding why. Cause a lot of times I've had goals where I've had these goals that I set a long time ago. And as time goes on, I realize I don't even want to, do, I don't, I don't realize I don't want to do the goals, but I realize I'm having, I have those goals. I'm only chasing those goals because I set them, not because they're even like beneficial for my life. Um, for example, um, this, I guess is a good example for dunk. It's another dunking related one, which is perfect. Uh, I wanted to try to jump higher without strength training because I wanted to prove people wrong that you don't need strength training. But you do eventually, especially when you're elite. I would say the beginners don't for a long time or you might be able to go without it for a long time, especially in my case where I was very strong already. 
Um, so you might be able to gain a lot, but at some point it's just physics and you simply can't produce enough force. But I wanted to prove people wrong without jump training, blah, blah, blah. I mean, without uh, strength training. So I just was going nowhere for a long time and that was just not smart. So, but I, I want, I had that goal in my head. And I'm like, why am I doing this? And it was ego reasons. You know, I wanted to just prove people wrong and I, I don't, I, that's how my thing started. And you understand that when I started my dunk journey, it was all to prove people wrong. And I did that and I had success with it. So now it was carved even deeper that proving people wrong was good motivation. But you have to know what your motivation is. And then, for example, if you want to do like stand up comedy like me is like um, I tried it, I bombed and I loved it. And the next day I'm writing more jokes and I'm excited for the next time. Am I nervous that I'm going to shit on stage again? Yes. But am I ready to pick that shit up and eat it? Yeah, dude, I'm ready to eat it. I'm ready to friggin shovel shit down my throat nonstop because it's fun and the amount of fun I had after the fact with <laughs> people responding yo I watched it and they couldn't get through half it was fun dude it, I look back on it and laugh every time and that I love laughing so I don't think it could have been funnier if I did well if I did well and did like okay it would have been funny you know making jokes but I don't think there's anything funnier than cringe moments of myself I don't like watching other people cringe I still laugh at it but I, I'm just happy people got enjoyment out of it. Oh my God, it was so funny. Okay, but I'm excited for the next one. I love the people involved in it. I love the environment. Every time I go to the open mic, I'm filled with excitement. Um, but uh, there's other things I have that I set goals that I try and they kind of fade. And then you think about why they fade. And it's because you have an interest for them. I have a million interests. So for me, it's like trying to pick the top couple that I can spend my time and energy on because... If I try to do all of them, I'm not going to do anything, you know? Um, so, yeah, figure out why you're doing it. And then also uh, try to, if you, a good question to ask yourself is like, what would you do if you had, if money wasn't an option? Like if you had no, if you didn't have to worry about money, because eventually you, you do have to. But in the moment when you're just trying to figure out who you are and what you want your life to be, think about what it is, if what you would do if you had just a regular income coming in, you don't have to worry about the bills. And then another thing is that if you didn't have if you were all alone because a lot of times like your family and friends influence you and you don't even realize so you think like what if um no one would see me do this or i could just like because you don't even realize that you're judging yourself based on what they're gonna say so what would you do if you had all the time and money and freedom yeah and then you i love that because it makes you it gives you a clear outcome of like oh that's what i want to do and you could start working towards that so start working towards it. and i guess um that is what i'll uh that's what that's what will take us to the the dunk tip of the day. That's what I really. That's actually similar to what it is. So my dunk tip of the day is how to start building that energy. It's, I think my, I want to start this series on dunk tips of the day. Um, that my little tips to enjoy and energy. One of those two things. And of course, as I say this, I'm trying. To, I'm committing to something, but we don't know when it's going to go. By the way, subscribe. I keep saying by the way. Subscriber dunk reviews coming soon as too. I have other people. I'm going to probably ask a few more people, get a few more winners. But just look in the description if there's a contest you enter. And I'm going to do that probably once a week at least. I'm going to try to get to once a week with a couple dunk reviews because I know they're really helpful. And you guys um, learn a lot from when I review them. And I get super hype and it's a lot of fun to see you guys dunking. Um, so that's, stay tuned for that and look, look below if you want to enter your video. But the dunk tip of the day, I really think from my experience and as I try to explain it, it helps me keep learning what I want to do because this is a Ponzi scheme and I want to be at the top. So the more I explain what's given me energy, I learn more and more and it keeps it fresh in my mind and I keep freaking escalating like I'm just shooting out of a rocket. So to the freaking tip, the habits, when you add a new habit, like going to sleep early or eating healthy or whatever it is, not picking your nose. What's another one? Um, putting brushing your teeth before bed instead of just the morning um or writing comedy every day for five minutes whatever it is it's gotta fit your lifestyle you can't you can't say like if you don't eat healthy at all you can't say i'm gonna eat healthy every single meal forever that's way too much and it's too much on your brain that's a lot of energy on your brain and a lot of stress but if i told you right now that you're listening to this podcast and you say uh I'm going to eat healthy my next meal. That's so easy. And it's really easy on your brain. So start with that. And the thing is with habits, it's like, say you want to um, brush your teeth every night. I don't, I don't know if you don't, but <laughs> you should. Um, I, by the way, I can't sleep without brushing my teeth because it feels like 
it's like so much anxiety. It's like, oh my God, I'm going to wake up with cavities, whatever. It's just like, it's so, <laughs> I have a lot of anxiety. I have a lot that I work with. That's why I do all these tips and I do all these mind things because I can't live with that anxiety. I think too goddamn much and my brain just keeps going. It's just racing, 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 racing. So if you add a tip like that, at first you're going to have to remember it. It's going to be like a part of your brain energy. It's going to be like, oh, I got to remember to do this. Or you're going to have to have like a trigger, like a sign that says brush before bed, something like that, right? But then as you do it, and you and you hit those marks like say the first week you hit all seven days in a row it gets a little easier and then by like i think it's around i think they say like 60 or 90 days forms a a habit something like that once you do it it becomes part of your routine that you're not thinking about it anymore for example the veggie drink that i make every day when i come home before i make dinner i'm already thinking of the veggie drink and i know what goes in it and i have everything in stock and then when i go to the grocery store it's on my mind already so all those things are not part of um a forced conscious decision anymore they're just part of my routine which makes it so easy and i think that's a really big thing because a lot of people if you ever start a habit and then it falls off or you try to build a routine and you just can't keep it up it's probably because you're you're biting off more than you can chew so chew small bits and that's what it's all about and that's it so i hope you like it i hope if you like the dunk tip of the day comment what the fuck <laughs> That'd be really funny. No, comment whatever you want. Um, love you guys. My speed phase is on sale now. If you want to learn more about training with me, I had really great calls. That's kind of where these ideas came from yesterday with my clients. Check out my website. Enjoy your day and spend your time wisely on a Saturday. It's beautiful over here. Check out my freaking TikTok. Let's go. All right. Um, there was also one more thing, and I think you already know what it is, but if you do, say it with me now. Toodaloo. Always hoping that my day, I don't